This is a mean pear, dog. That's what's up. That's Fresh what's up. pear made me a mean. Ooh. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to top these. Peace, this is Just Blaze. I'm teaming up with Custom Kick superstar designer, Caddy Customs, to make one of one sneakers for some of the biggest names in hip hop culture. Our guest today is the Versus King, the man with the raspy flow, and one third of one of the most enduring groups in hip hop history. His pen game is impeccable, and so is his style. Can Caddy and I make a pair of kicks that will impress this longtime sneakerhead and Jordan brand ambassador? Will our shoe measure up to his iconic career? Welcome to Fresh Pair. Please welcome the one and only Jada Kiss. Brother, what's up, brother? How are you? All right. Hi, this is Caddy. Nice How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice love to meet you. Love is love. Love is love. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. What's good, bro? Just happy to be here, brother. So look, I researched you from top to bottom. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm already a fan, but it's just like, how can I nail this shoe? You know what I'm saying? Like, I look at the verses, I look, you know, listen to your, your, your songs, and I listen to the locks, I listen to your solo stuff, and I was really trying to nail down your style. I went on your Instagram, I'm looking at all your sneakers, I'm peeping all the pictures, I'm looking at your wardrobe, I'm like, okay, he's fly, but he chill. More so like my style, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I like to wear sweats and sneakers, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like it's fly, but you chilling, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Comfortability. So, Let's get into it then. Are you ready to see? Do it. You ready? All right. All right. I love them. You love them? I love them. Nice. These I'm glad you hard. do. Yeah? Yeah, these are fire. Look at that. Look at the bottom. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and we're going to get into Benjamin. the details. We're going to tell Benjamins. you what mean what, why we put it there. You know what I'm saying? So, but did I, did I do good? Is this something you would rock? Rushed. Ooh. Ah, thank Rushed. you. Thank you. Thank Rushed. you. Rushed. I'm <laughs> Rushed. Yeah, I, the laces is crazy. Ah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Coming to this game, as a part of the locks, mm -hmm. and you sign with Bad Boy. Mm -hmm. And like I said, everything here represents something. So what you have right here is shiny suit era, mm. right? Mm -hmm. But there's a contrast there because right after that, you're back to the streets and the concrete, right? The concrete. So you have that first part of your journey of Going from the shiny suits. The transition right. back to the... If you think I'm jiggy to we are the streets. Mm -hmm. Right? So starting with the shiny suit era, coming into that, did you feel out of place? Or did you feel like you were adjusting? Adjusting was a great word because, yeah. you know, we was, we was very raw. We was coming... We was actually going to them studio sessions straight from the block. We used to have crack on us sometime. Right. Some of them songs we made, we had... Contraband on us. <laughs> so it was hard for us, you know, coming from the block. Right. We coming from sharing pizza and Chinese food to exotic lobsters and <laughs> catering. This, so it was hard. But then you have the uh, the transition going into Coming home, I guess you would start to mm -hmm. kind of say this. That's a great, great choice of words, going home. That's right. what we called it. With the same passion, you know, D&Y was, they was on us, but it wasn't the same type of feeling as Diddy coming in a room and saying, I don't like that. Right. His way of saying he didn't like it and their way of saying he, they didn't like it was like a loud difference. Right. He's, well, I, it, his way was a little discouraging sometimes. Uh. He was... But in his defense, Biggie told us all of that. He was going to do all of that. Uh, right. So we was kind of prepared somewhat what we thought we was, and we appreciated Big. Like, he's going to do some stuff that's going to get on your nerves. He's going to make you feel this way, but he's going to make you a star. Right. So, so we Big kept that ready. in the back. Yeah, Big gave us all of the stuff that the people don't get influence. to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was very, sure. okay. he was a huge influence just on how to handle ourselves, right. you know what I mean, coming into the industry. Showing, showing you how to navigate through the system. Yeah. So we have this patent leather, which actually, she should explain that this is actually, she made this patent leather. I herself. made this patent leather. 
in the mm. good, don't How do you it? Make patent leather. Man, it's a it's a gang of steps. Process. That's it. Man, it's a Fire. process. Okay, mm. and it's crazy because the original shoe that I went with, I went with because you know we were so like, okay, this shoe has to have patent leather. We looked at your uh, the album and you had on the red. Shiny suit. Oh, wow. You know what I'm that's saying? When, that's when giving me money, boy. respect. Yeah, money, my, power, respect. Yeah, over money, look, power, respect. Yeah. My look, outfit. So Smart. let me tell you what I did. Okay. So you had on red, right? Yeah. Your skin color brown. Mm. I mixed the two together and we got this. Mm. I like Fire. to call it the chocolate raspberry. Fire. <laughs> Woo! Let me get my own heel. <laughs> the chocolate like the, raspberry. The chocolate raspberry. You know what I'm saying? So we came up with this color. And basically, like making it patent leather was like a, a real like task. It's Especially, fire, though. It looks fire. Man, I'm glad you like it. Cause the original patent leather, I didn't like it. I was like, you know what? I think it'd be better if I make the patent leather make it. versus already having the patent leather and just be like, okay, I pinned it around it or I created around it. But I really wanted to give you something special. I really wanted to give you something that you would really love. Killed it. Killed Crushed it. it. And that right there. That <sighs> that story with it. How you put the. That's See, crazy. And I like that. And I, they growing on me more as yeah, I sit here. Yeah. Look at them. They, right. they, they get crazier and crazier right now. So I love that. Going back to the contrast, right? Like, right under that, we have this rough material. Yeah. So, we, you know, I'm not a big fan of putting words on, the sh on a shoe just for the sake of putting words on a shoe. But one of your catchphrases. Actually, I think one of the names of one of your businesses is so raspy. Mm -hmm. So our thing was, how do we represent uh -huh. so raspy in a texture? How do we represent it on the shoe without right. it just being a word? We made a right. raspy texture. We made a raspy texture. Fire. Yeah, yeah. fire. Yeah, this is incredible. So, you know, if you look at if you feel it, it's soft too. It's not like, you it know, it's nice. raspy. It's ill. It's ill. You know what I'm saying? That's different. Yeah. You ain't never seen that on a Jordan 1 before. I mean, no. I never have. I haven't. Whether it's a custom or a release. I haven't. You know what I'm saying? I haven't. And as you can see, the concrete area, that's the, you know, we are the, the street. streets. Fire. I want to hear about the sky. I want to hear oh, about you, this. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Yes, man. All right, let's, go, let's get into it. So you see, it's DMX on. I see the door, yeah. And you see Biggie on this one. Fire. Right? I didn't even see that one. You didn't even see it? Here, you know, hold on to it. Look at crazy. it. This is crazy. This is getting crazy. <laughs> so the reason getting was, crazy. Yeah, so we know these were, you know, they played a big part in your, you know, career. Facts. You know Facts. what I'm saying? Biggie, he influenced you. And then you, when you got with DMX, that's when you was really like. X put us on. He bought us right. the Rough Riders. Exactly. So that, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't know nothing about Yonkers until the locks. And until y'all start repping. You know, that's what that was our chip on our shoulder to mm -hmm. get into the music game. Um, listening to the local stations. They shout out the five barrows and shout out New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So we like, we gotta get in this game and make these people know who Yonkers is yeah. and you know where we from and you yeah. know. Again, you know, we're all about symbolism behind the art, right? So the reason we have this sky texture here. Is because we thought about it, the Jordy, original Jordan 1 logo, yeah. it's the wings. Mm. Yep. And we looked at it like big and X angels. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, dog. We put the cloud effect it's, behind it. That's right. crazy. This is crazy. Yeah. But also, you had that transition of going from the ground to the sky. sky. Exactly. It, tells, it all tells a story, exactly. it all ties together. That's crazy. You, you know, with X, <laughs> with X putting y'all on the way he did, you know, bringing you to Rough Riders and thank you. And, um, you know, kind of putting y'all on your path. Do you remember what that first meeting with him was like when you first ran into him? Like, were y'all you, were introduced as, hey, this is DMX the Rapper, Locks the Rappers, or was it, was it street? What, our introduction to X? Mm -hmm. Nah, X grandmother lived down the block from him. We knew X. X was already a star in Yonkers in, in our eyes. Right. Maybe ten, seven to ten years before he ever dropped the album. He been rocking and selling tapes in the hood mm -hmm. and doing show. X did a show, a live, well, it was in one of the high schools or, you know, a school gymnasium in Yonkers with leaders of the new school. Wow. When they had just another case, of, he held his own wow. on a bill with, with, you know what I mean, L O N S. And wow. He was just an iconic star, and yeah. X got up there with unreleased, never heard material, <laughs> right. only in Yonkers, wow. and killed it. Right. You know what I mean? And so once he got with Rough Riders and we started getting nicer and rhyming, we was the first, 
It wasn't even like a formal meeting. He came right. to the block. Yo, dog, I got these dudes. <laughs> Y'all gonna meet with me, dog. We gonna be on Rough Riders. And wow, then he bought like them, them and then that was it. It wasn't like... Wow. So when you, you came to mean? Rough Riders, that's when you was like, okay, this is home. You know what I'm saying? This is yeah, like... Yeah, they, they groomed us, though, for years. Mm -hmm. Like, we did Jack the Rap seminars. Mm -hmm. We was just in the studio creating and battling other teams and nice. just, you know what I mean, just always around together. Any and memorable battles create. from back then, like, where it was like, y'all went on to become y'all and, and the other artists went on to become somebody else? The figures, major figures in Siegel and them was moving around a lot. Okay. All of them. They was, they was, they was, they was, I remember them coming in packs and Siegel mm -hmm. used right. to be getting, every, all of them would be getting busy. Right. But it was a lot of dudes that turned into you know what I mean? Ja Rule and them was Cash Money Click that right. later on right. turned to be Murder Inc. Right, um, right. A lot, we've seen a lot of people on our path, you know what I mean? That That's turned out to be so successful. So taking dude. it to the other side, like, you know, so X is early because he's like a hood star, lo a local, local celebrity for y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, what was like the first meeting with Big like? Do you remember when you, when you first met him or? what the conversation was or what the circumstance was. The linking up with Big was a little bit different and a little awkward. I think we might have had one meeting with Puff. He was very interested. Um, he would tell D to just come around, bring us around. We went to see Big at the Total Can't You See video. Oh, nice. It was in Central Park. It was frozen. It was like a quick, hey, Big, what's up? <laughs> right. He got out of there, with freezing, you know what right. I'm saying? Wow. So we ain't, we like, damn, the first time we get to see him, we can't really talk to him, right. it's freezing, right. he's shooting a video. Then we didn't see him for a while. Then we actually signed, and um, Puff had us do the song, You'll See, and he had Big on it, and okay. we still didn't see him. But when we heard his verses, like, he was going at us crazy. <laughs> but we actually loved it, because right. we like, he going at us, we knew. We, that must mean he, he feels something or yeah. something. Right. So, yep, yep. You know what I mean, the song got completed. Then we would actually start seeing him. He was prepping for um, Life After Death album. And um, then we would see him every day. Like, we come in, he in the big room, we in the small or the medium room. He wanted us to come in his room, um, see what he was doing, That's fix us a drink. He thought he was a bartender. Huh. Playboy, you drinking? He wanted to make you a drink. Um, then a lot of times after we met him, we got cool. He said, yo, I'm glad you're down with us. We're going to do X, Y, Z. And sometimes we'll come in here be playing whatever we recorded the night before. Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? He asked the engineers, let me hear the locks, whatever they made. He come in there, he playing, and like, yo, this is fire. That's and that would probably serve as inspiration for him, too. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. I mean? If he's about to go work, he might want to hear something that inspires him. Right. One of the great things about the locks is, you know, nothing is ever great 100% of the time, but y'all have never broken down as a right. unit, as a family unit. What's behind that? What keeps y'all in that unified front 24-7? We always made a oath that once we get into this game, we ain't gonna let none of the stuff that breaks everybody up mm -hmm. and, you know what I mean? We gonna use all the other groups' breakups as our fuel. Right. Um, I love that. Of course, everything's never 100% on the same page, but right. we go inside a room and fight, curse each other out, whatever right. we do, and leave it in the room. Right, you know what I mean? right. Nothing is bigger than a group. Or right. Nothing is bigger than a cause. And as long as we keep it like that, we good. Continuing on this journey and fast forwarding to uh, recent times for a second, you had a moment where you demonstrated why you actually are top five, dead or alive, when you held the new, whole New York on your back during the verses. Yeah. You know, like the first one was cool. It's very entertaining. Um, but it set the stage for what was really going to happen next, right? What I want to know more about is, was it a conscious decision to approach it the way you did? Did you have a game plan or did you just go out there like, yo, I'm going to go do what we do? Nah, definitely game plan. Shout out to Puff, back to double and back to all of that. Something that we learned on Bad Boy was the rehearse for every, any type of platform, any type of performance. Right from a hole in a wall to a Carnegie Hall. 
make sure you get some type of rehearsals in to know exactly what you want to do. One great thing um, about uh, that performance, right? It's not just the songs you played. It's not just the stage presence. It's the projection of your voice. You masterfully commandeered that microphone and projected your voice into the garden. You know, to where at a certain point, it was just like an otherworldly presence, like God was on that mic. Mm -hmm. I think Caddy had a question about this. Yeah. You wanna run, you wanna run? So you have the best voice in hip hop history to me. Wow. Like, <laughs> wow. That's facts. That's facts. Cause when I hear you spit, I'm like, I get chills. I'll be like, yo, wow. he's so cold. That's a, that's a, that's an ultimate Man. blessing. But what I'm curious to know is who is your top five or top three, whatever, voices that you like in the hip hop industry? Voices. Mm -hmm. You know, this is that's it. This show is amazing because <laughs> nobody never asked me who's, who I think got the top five or top three or any type of voices. <laughs> Great question. Um, let me think about it. And it took me a while to, that's like education in music just to know the different sonically of people's voices, the, exactly. you know what I mean, the projectory and how somebody's voice mm -hmm. could add on to what they bring to the table. Right. And, um, just unique voices for me as I started learning about it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think Guru, rest in peace, he okay. had an ill voice. Absolutely. Um, Meth. Yes. You know, when Meth, yes. when the Wu came, Meth's voice was deep Yo, was and crazy. raspy and it was crazy. <laughs> just, he has an ill voice. Yeah. Um, big with the Absolutely. nasal. It sounds like he's having a hard time breathing, yeah. but that's making this cadence extra crazy. crazy. Yeah. Um, Tone Loke. Okay. Got a Loke. shout That's out to Tone Loke, yeah. man. Huh. That's Somebody a great never one. Thought <laughs> Tone Loke's voice is ill. Okay. Dog's voice was ill. Nas. Nas. Got the nasal. Yeah. He got the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so I like that. I like that top five. I agree. That's voices. So yeah. don't get mad at me and then <laughs> it said voices. It's just voices. Guys, just voices. Yeah. <laughs> So I saw an interview where, you know, you gave your, your sons your, your your shoe collection. You know, he went off to college and he sold some. He sold a pair. And I didn't give him my shoe collection, but I tried to get him right. You know, right, he was a, a freshman. Pairs. Yeah, he freshman. I'm sending them all, I'm sending them to Clark Atlanta. <laughs> I know I, I mean, I went to a community college, so I never went home, away from home, but I know that you want to, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know your finances is tight. And you you want to look fresh. You're yeah. a freshman. You got you to gotta stand out on the Fact. campus to, to be all right. So <laughs> I'm sending them fire, fire. <laughs> I go visit them one day, look at the closet. There's none of the stuff I'm sending <laughs> them. Yo, where you, where's, all, where's all the feet at? <laughs> oh, Dad, you, they going for high on the campus. <laughs> You selling the sneakers? I'm he like, yeah, that's part, that's what, that's college life. So how do you feel yeah, about I, that? I ain't sent him another pair. <laughs> you was like, fuck that. Yeah, he dead. <laughs> that's crazy. So look, this shoe right here, it says property of Jadakiss. This is for your son. So if he was to try to take he these. He know he can't them, touch those. <laughs> yeah. These is off limits. And on this one, it says sample. Not for sale. Fire. You know what I'm saying? Fire. So if you even look it, at these. There's no mistakes can be made. No they mistakes can be made. You already know, they off what's limits. Your, what's your son's name? J. Juan. J. Juan, yo, these ain't Don't for sale. Don't touch him. <laughs> Property of Jada Kiss only, okay? <laughs> Jada, we got some lyrics underneath the tongue, right? You know, it says, you pay 30 for the kiss, you pay 30 for the kiss and 100 for the lives. And if we... If we cool, then I write a hook for a drop. Write a hook for it. So you already, of course, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how does that work? You know what I'm saying? In the so, music career, like, how does how does that work? How did you... That was in the beginning. If you want me, it was 30 in the beginning. And it was 100 for the whole group. Right. And if so, we cool, I'd, I'd do it for, for nothing for you all. So you gonna do it for nothing for a drop for, for you, me? Yeah, you know, y'all could get any. Well, you got that man with the production, you yeah, know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You mentioned the laces earlier. Laces look like... You like the laces? Yeah, they look they're... soft as my next door neighbor. From, <laughs> they just look... <laughs> they look crazy. They, they Yo, just, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm not a fan 
of the leather lace. Really? Because I could never tie it right, right, or right. give I'm it the shit to tie right. It. Mm -hmm. But nah, I'm gonna make it work. These particular ones just look extra rich. They look crazy. <laughs> for, they, they look so cool. They look like Batman tricks. So the reason I we went with that. the reason we went with the blacked out laces is we wanted to reference um, a story you told about the blackout session when it's you, mm. X, O, oh, and, every, and everybody in the room, right? And how that, how the energy and the intensity uh, came across in that session where it's like, you know, obviously everybody's friendly, but it's still, com we're still competitively trying to outdo each other. Mm. Right. You know what I mean? What was that session like? That was the template of music back then. Mm -hmm. It was more love and it was more competitive than I say how the game is now. We spent a lot of time next to each other, Rockefeller, Rough Riders. You, everybody was supportive of each thing that each label was doing, but we were still going at each other. Right. And that, I think that's why the game will never be like that. That's missing. There was no egos, there was no money, there was no Forbes list. None of that mattered. It was just going in there, writing some good bars and trying to kill each other, but trying to make a dope song. Right. And the outcome of it, everybody being happy. For me, what, what sticks out with Blackout for me is mm. I got the source verse of the month on a ah. song with Styles, Looch, Hove, and X. Right. You can't tell me nothing. Yeah, I felt, I felt like, mama, I made it for real now, you know what I'm saying? Because that was a big deal when you right. get the, you know what I mean? It was, it was a good conversational piece, so. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, uh, you in the studio, and there's younger cats that come in, do you think they feel nervous when, when they see you in the studio with them, or do they get a little stage fright? Yeah, the game has changed. Mm -hmm. It ain't really about that, 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 what that session, what that one song, Blackout, represents, mm -hmm. it's a loud difference of what the game, how the game is displayed and even right now. Okay. It could still happen with, if you was to put certain artists in the studio right. and you can do that, but now it's not, it's not about that. Again, so much money and so much exposure and so much ties to every other thing. I think the actual pushing a pin and being competitive mm -hmm. is the least of the game now. Okay. Cole still writes like that mm -hmm. and Cole, J. Cole is one of the artists that has that. Of course, Drake, he coming at yeah. you. Yeah. But for the most, if you look at the game in an entirety, that ain't what's going yeah, on. It's not too much they, they really don't even want to. A lot <laughs> of dudes that can't do that take the scenic route and go over there and wow. do something. Now it's like the music is the disposable, or many times can be treated like the disposable commercial for everything else, everything you, got going else on. you got going on. Whereas back then, it was like, yo, the music is it. Like, this is. Back then, it was a force field. Right. Red Man, Big, they had the arms locked. And if you wasn't nice, you couldn't get inside <laughs> that thing. And that's just what it was. Okay. So I have another question. You know, um, when you, what, what, what was your first custom sneaker? Like, that you were in a music video. Oh, now, the I Gucci think I got ups? That. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I think I got the answer. Yeah, knock yourself out video. Uh -huh. yeah. So that was the all white with the, with the Gucci With the Gucci, Gucci print. Swoosh. Yeah, yeah that's hard, that's hard. So I want to talk about the insoles. Uh -oh. If you take a look-see. Taking it there. You see it? So yeah. it's the Gucci print, but we put the fresh pair to fresh FP. FP, fire. You know what I'm saying? Mm, so. You're killing it. <laughs> so one of the other great uh, things that we got out of the verses, aside from y'all amazing performance, all the chatter, the response, the reaction videos, but there was one phrase that stood out from all of that. Yeah. Yesterday's price is not today's price. You I hope y'all hear that. <laughs> Still, y'all literally walked out of that building. You were walking money at that point. Mm. Like, that's the phrase we use. He's walking money, he's out of here. Yeah. So. This is actual real walking money. money. On the bottom of your sneaker. Money on, that's, that's literally walking on money. That's yes, walking exactly. on money. That's ill. Today's price ain't money. yesterday's price. That's real money on, that's underneath nuts, your sneaker. That's nuts, man. Real money inside this soul. Yep. The other tie is one of the first times that many people heard your voice in this game on a wide scale. 
all about the Benjamins. All about the Benjamins. Yep. They got double entendres to go with. You know what I'm saying? Double meanings. <laughs> all about the Benjamins yesterday. This is ill, man. It's ill. Y'all, some, y'all something else over here. See, that's what's up. This is a mean pair. Dog. That's what's up. That's Fresh what's up. Fresh pair made me a mean. Ooh. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to top these. Man. These might gotta go in the, y'all hey, the Fresh top Hall of Fame. Look, but check I gotta out. make a hole or a wall of fame. <laughs> these definitely going in there. Look. Top five dead or alive oh on the God. laces. <laughs> this, so you already know this is already the top five dead or alive. Crazy. <laughs> I don't think you, I don't know. Any other mean ones you make is gonna be inspired somehow by these. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. What's the name of this? Cherry raspberry? The, the uh, chocolate raspberry. Chocolate raspberry. raspberry. That's you. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I wanna know how you did that, hell yeah. You oh gotta, yeah, so. Don't just say it, you gotta give me some. <laughs> oh yeah, I got how you. Got, how the hell did you do that? <laughs> okay, so basically with the sole replacement, I bought a regular shoe, right? Mm. Unstitched the soles, bought a clear sole, got some money, some real money, made a whole silhouette of the of the size that's of your- That's hard work, that's, that's real. That's hard work. This is a $20 million shoe. Facts. <laughs> they playing, dog, this is crazy. As we start to wrap this up, overall, we are glad that you just, that you love the shoe. We're glad that you're into um, it. Yeah. I'm, this shoe messed up my whole day. It did. So it, it, it matches your style. It made though, right? my day. And I might just keep them with me all day. <laughs> I might go get a carriage, a car seat, and put them in it. In my life. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Taking good care of your baby. That's you know a fact. I mean, those things are fine. I love it. Okay, so this is one question I gotta ask. If we was to make this shoe for someone else, or a fan of yours, a fan of Fresh Pair, how much would you sell these shoes for? I'm gonna tell you what I would have to do. Okay. The way you displayed this pair, I would take every year from, I would try to take the numbers of the years from the, I mean, the Benjamins, right. mm-hmm. when we went from Bad Boy to mm-hmm. do some type of calculations and Ooh. add all do the years up. like that. Okay. Yeah. And that's the price. You okay. know what I mean? No, that's Cause you dope. gotta keep it, you got y'all did a lot of, you, you know what I mean? It took yeah. a lot of thought, so we gotta yeah. take a lot of thought in making the price. This ain't <laughs> exactly. no regular shoe, man. We'll get back to y'all on the price. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, my brother, thank you so much for coming. Man, yeah, y'all had a great a time. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. This is the no holds bar section. I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say you, you like the shoe, but this is where I come chop it up and verify that like so you, you actually do you, you like the shoe fuck with it crazy i love it dog this the i told you i loved it when y'all bought it out right before but you knew all before the i knew all of the shit i loved it and then right. as it was sitting on the table i started looking at shit it's growing on me right then when y'all explain which I put into the journey of like my career into a shoe. Right. And all the hard work and effort is incredible. I'm telling you, I have a mix of, I wanna wear it, I don't wanna wear it, I wanna look at it, I want people to see it, but don't touch it. I gotta go <laughs> home and figure out how I'm gonna, where I'm gonna put it or what, what I'm gonna do with it. It definitely it's a, is like something that you like rock once and then you display. Definitely. I, I have a lot of shoes. Right. This, I haven't felt this way about a pair in a long, in a long time. That's it. That's it right there. Say no more, my brother. Once again, thank you so much.